turn now to the urgent new warning about the potential dangers of artificial intelligence. Top experts and executives in the field say it poses, quote, the risk of extinction, comparing it to pandemics and nuclear war. What does quantum computing have in common with the Oscar winning movie Everything Everywhere All at Once? One is a mind-blowing work of fiction, while the other is an emerging frontier in computer science, but both of them deal with rearrangements of particles and superposition that don't match our usual view of reality. AI has already made significant advancements, and scientists are tirelessly working on developing quantum computers. But what might occur when AI and quantum computers join forces? Will they destroy our planet or give us a better understanding of the universe? Recently, the U.S. government urged Google and NASA to halt their quantum computer development efforts, and what's even more intriguing is that renowned physicist Michio Kaku has made an unsettling announcement regarding the potential dangers. So the two of them, the uh, chatbots that are a revolution in software, and then quantum computers, which are a revolution in hardware, when they get together, watch out. So we're talking about an extremely powerful alliance between software and hardware. Let's delve into the world of quantum computers, how they are poised to revolutionize everything, and Michio Kaku's alarming proclamation. Welcome to Astroworld, where stargazing stories are told. Quantum computers are captivating machines that rely on the principles of quantum mechanics to perform computations. Unlike traditional computers that use bits to represent information as zero or one, quantum computers employ quantum bits or qubits, which can represent information as zero and one simultaneously. This property, known as superposition, allows quantum computers to perform complex calculations in parallel, potentially offering exponential speedup compared to classical computers. The fundamental building blocks of a quantum computer are qubits. These qubits can exist in multiple states simultaneously thanks to superposition. Entanglement is another principle crucial to quantum computing, which enables the correlation between multiple qubits, even when physically separated. This interconnectedness allows quantum computers to perform calculations on a large scale by harnessing the collective power of entangled qubits. Quantum computers differ from traditional computers in terms of their underlying principles and computing power. While traditional computers process information using classical bits, which are limited to representing information as either zero or one, quantum computers leverage the unique properties of qubits, such as superposition and entanglement, to perform parallel computations and potentially solve certain problems more efficiently. The history of quantum computers traces back to the development of quantum theory in the early 20th century. Quantum theory, a branch of physics, describes the behavior of particles at the atomic and subatomic levels and has revolutionized our understanding of the fundamental nature of reality. Max Planck proposed in 1900 that energy is quantized, meaning it exists in discrete amounts or quanta. This idea formed the foundation for the understanding that particles like electrons can only have specific energy levels. In 1925, Werner Heisenberg formulated the famous uncertainty principle, highlighting the probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics and the limitations of classical physics in describing the microscopic world. Another significant breakthrough came in 1935 when Albert Einstein, Boris Podolsky, and Nathan Rosen presented the EPR paradox thought experiment. They argued that quantum mechanics allowed for the existence of spooky action at a distance where the properties of entangled particles would be instantaneously linked regardless of the distance between them. However, it wasn't until 1980 that the concept of quantum computing emerged. Physicist Paul Benioff proposed leveraging quantum mechanics to create a new type of computer that could harness the power of quantum phenomena like superposition and entanglement. In 1982, Physicist Richard Feynman expanded on Benioff's ideas and speculated about the potential of quantum computers to solve problems that classical computers would find intractable. Feynman's visionary thinking sparked significant interest in the field and laid the groundwork for further research and development. Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, researchers made progress in understanding the principles underlying quantum computation. In 1994, mathematician Peter Shore developed a groundbreaking algorithm that demonstrated the potential of quantum computers to factor large numbers exponentially faster than classical computers. 
This discovery had significant implications for cryptography and the security of modern communication systems. The first practical implementation of a quantum computer occurred in 1998 when a research team at the Los Alamos National Laboratory built a two-qubit quantum computer using nuclear magnetic resonance techniques. While limited in capabilities, this achievement marked an important milestone in quantum computing's development. In the early 2000s, several research groups and companies started making progress in constructing more sophisticated quantum computers. Notably, in 2001, a team at IBM successfully built a 7-qubit quantum computer known as IBM Qubit. In 2002, scientists made progress in an area called quantum error correction, developing methods to protect quantum information from errors. Researchers introduced new codes like the surface code, enhancing the reliability of quantum computers by protecting against errors. In 2005, researchers at the University of Innsbruck and the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, achieved an important milestone by building a working quantum computer with five qubits. This development showed that it was possible to create a practical quantum computer, even with a small number of qubits. In 2007, scientists at Yale University found a way to create stable qubits using solid-state systems, making quantum computers easier to work with. In 2010, researchers at the University of Science and Technology of China accomplished quantum teleportation, successfully transferring the quantum state of one particle to another particle in a different location over a distance of 10 miles. This achievement demonstrated the ability to send quantum information over long distances, crucial for building quantum networks. In 2013, Google and NASA collaborated to develop a quantum computer called the D-Wave 2. However, the U.S. government pressured them to halt their efforts, causing setbacks to the project. Despite the computer being operational, it couldn't be fully utilized due to the uncertain future caused by government intervention. And also where Google met the challenge, they beat a standard supercomputer at a certain select uh, question. So in other words, we have already achieved quantum supremacy. That is, quantum computers on select problems can exceed the capability of any digital computer. In 2019, Google made headlines by announcing its achievement of quantum supremacy using the Sycamore quantum processor. They solved a complex mathematical problem that would have taken classical computers thousands of years to solve. This breakthrough showcased the immense power of quantum computers for specific tasks and inspired other tech giants like IBM and Microsoft to intensify their own quantum computing endeavors, leading to a competition to develop better and more reliable quantum systems. In 2020, IBM introduced the IBM Q System 1, the first fully integrated quantum computer designed for commercial use. This marked a significant milestone in making quantum computers more practical and accessible for various applications. Quantum computing research attracted attention and investments from governments and industries worldwide. Quantum research centers and labs were established, fostering collaborations between academia, industry, and government agencies. Scientists speculate about the existence of intelligent life on other planets and propose the idea that they might utilize black holes as super-powerful computers, potentially explaining the Fermi Paradox. The Fermi Paradox questions why we haven't found clear evidence of extraterrestrial life despite the high likelihood of its existence. The Hart-Tipler conjecture suggests that if advanced alien civilizations existed in our galaxy, we would observe signs of their activity everywhere. However, a recent German and Georgian physicist study proposes that these civilizations might be using black holes as supercomputers. According to the study, black holes provide ideal conditions for quantum computing based on the laws of quantum physics and gravity. Hypothetical black holes created by advanced civilizations would likely be small to increase computational efficiency. These black holes would emit intense radiation, including Hawking radiation, which could serve as a sign of advanced alien civilizations. High-energy neutrinos, capable of carrying information and difficult to block, could be produced by the Hawking radiation of small black holes and the particle collisions used to create them. Detecting these high-energy neutrinos could be possible with instruments like the IceCube Observatory buried deep in Antarctica's ice. 
This theory offers a potential explanation for the absence of evidence of advanced civilizations and the resolution of the Fermi paradox. If these civilizations have advanced beyond radio and digital communication and have begun utilizing black holes as computers, it would explain the lack of technological signs. Moreover, considering the rapid progress of computing, these civilizations may only use radio signals for a limited time, aligning with the L parameter in the Drake equation that represents how long civilizations actively send detectable signals into space. Michio Kaku, a renowned scientist known for his work in theoretical physics, recently discussed the impact of AI chatbots and quantum computing. He highlighted that while AI chatbots can generate thoughts and ideas, they lack the ability to determine truth from falsehood. On the other hand, quantum computers have the potential to verify the accuracy of information produced by AI systems, leading to more reliable outcomes. However, Dr. Kaku expressed concerns about the control of fact-checking capabilities, as governments could manipulate information and suppress opposing viewpoints. The utilization of quantum computing could either greatly benefit society or be employed as a tool for deception and control, depending on its application. The development of AI has seen significant progress, particularly in AI image generators and chatbots. However, there are hidden dangers associated with this technology. Deepfakes, for instance, can spread false political information and baseless accusations, raising concerns about the authenticity of evidence. AI technology also poses risks in international conflicts, as deepfakes can be used to fabricate orders and create chaos. In law enforcement, AI tools can contribute to excessive policing and biased decision-making, leading to disparities and injustices, especially for marginalized communities. The bias present in AI models, influenced by existing societal biases, further exacerbates inequality. Additionally, AI language models can generate false information that may potentially cause harm. AI trading bots in the stock market can disrupt financial systems. Scientists worldwide are working diligently to create the first functional quantum computer, but it remains a challenging task that may take several more years or even a decade to achieve. The timeline for development depends on technological advancements, new discoveries, and the availability of resources. Scientists collaborate and leverage knowledge from different fields such as physics, computer science, and engineering. They pursue two main approaches, gate-based quantum computing and adiabatic quantum computing. Gate-based quantum computing involves manipulating and controlling individual qubits to perform calculations. Researchers strive to create more stable qubits, such as superconducting circuits and trapped ions, while finding ways to reduce errors. Adiabatic quantum computing focuses on gradually evolving a quantum system to find solutions to complex problems using a phenomenon called quantum annealing. Scientists experiment with different materials and specialized devices to improve the performance and scalability of adiabatic quantum computers. Developing quantum computers poses challenges due to their sensitivity to the environment, which can cause errors. Scientists must maintain delicate quantum states called quantum coherence for computation. Quantum computers require highly controlled and isolated environments with extremely low temperatures. Creating and sustaining these conditions is difficult and costly. The fragility of qubits and the need for low temperatures cause engineering challenges when scaling up quantum computers. Error correction is another crucial aspect, and researchers are exploring methods to address errors that occur during quantum computations. Governments, academic institutions, and private companies invest heavily in quantum research and development to overcome these challenges. Initiatives like IBM Quantum, Google Quantum AI, and Microsoft Quantum provide researchers worldwide with access to quantum hardware, software, and educational resources. Continuous innovation in quantum algorithms and software contributes to progress. Scientists explore various applications, including optimization problems, machine learning, cryptography, and drug discovery, where quantum computers can potentially outperform classical computers. Quantum computers have the potential to revolutionize space exploration and the search for extraterrestrial life. 
Analyzing massive data sets from telescopes and space probes is a significant aspect of space exploration, and quantum computers can aid in processing and cross-referencing vast amounts of information. They can help identify potentially habitable exoplanets, detect atmospheric biosignatures, and decipher complex alien communications. Quantum computers can also enhance simulations and models of astronomical phenomena, aiding in mission planning, trajectory optimization, and understanding celestial bodies. Additionally, quantum computers offer possibilities for enhancing military capabilities. They can break encryption algorithms, strengthen secure communications, optimize logistics and resource allocation, enhance decision-making, and improve target tracking and detection. However, while quantum computers provide exciting prospects, they also pose potential threats. The most significant concern lies in the threat to encryption systems. Classical encryption algorithms used to secure sensitive information and protect data privacy could be compromised by quantum computers capable of factoring in large numbers quickly. Cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin, rely on cryptographic algorithms for security. Quantum computers could potentially undermine the security of cryptocurrencies by breaking these algorithms. The integrity of the internet infrastructure itself, which relies on public key cryptography, could be at risk if quantum computers are used to break encryption. Data privacy could also be undermined, as quantum computers could unravel patterns and correlations hidden within encrypted or anonymized data sets. These threats call for proactive measures, including the development of post-quantum cryptography, investments in quantum-resistant technologies, and robust guidelines and regulations to safeguard against potential risks. Furthermore, quantum computers have implications for scientific simulations and models. While quantum simulations can revolutionize fields like material science, drug discovery, and climate modeling, powerful quantum computers could potentially compromise the encryption protecting these simulations, leading to unauthorized access or altered results. Proactive measures, international cooperation, and the development of ethical frameworks and regulatory standards are necessary to address these threats and ensure the responsible and beneficial use of quantum computers. In conclusion, the combination of AI and quantum computers holds immense potential but also raises concerns and challenges. While quantum computers offer exciting possibilities for scientific breakthroughs and advancements in various fields, including space exploration and military capabilities, they also pose risks to encryption systems, data privacy, scientific integrity, and financial stability. Addressing these challenges requires collaborative efforts, proactive measures, and the establishment of robust guidelines and regulations. With careful planning and responsible development, quantum computers can be harnessed to benefit society and advance our understanding of the universe. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.